Let's talk about technology integration. Today I'm going to introduce the SAMR or SAMR model of technology integration. The SAMR model provides a framework to help teachers integrate technology successfully in the classroom. It helps you evaluate where you're at and measure your integration of technology to see what it's accomplishing. I like to think of it as a ladder with four technology integration rungs to climb that will help you eventually go from just enhancing learning to achieving transformational integration for you and your students. Everyone has to start somewhere and the bottom rung of the SAMER model is called substitution. A lot of us are at or have spent a fair amount of time on this rung which is a great place to start but it's not our end goal as the SAMER model helps us to see. We should always view each rung along the way as a state of transition towards the next level to progress towards more meaningful uses of technology that transform the way students learn. Let's relate each level of the SAMER model to the use of Google Docs for illustrative purposes since it's a tool that we all have at our disposal. The first level is called substitution. At the most basic level, you're using technology to substitute a paper pencil task. For example, using Google Docs like any other word processor to type a report. The new technology of Google Docs is just replacing the old technology of paper pencil, but the task itself, writing a paper, has not changed. Next up is augmentation. At this next level of the SAMER model, we're still working on the same substitutional task, but the new technology provides functional improvement to this task. Students are still typing their report in Google Docs, but with additional tools in their toolbox, like the built-in research tool, being able to access Google Docs from anywhere, or sharing documents with others. This is a fairly easy transition to make on your way up the SAMER model. We move even further away from simply enhancing lessons when we hit the modification rung. At this stage, the technology is used to redesign parts of the task. Not only have students shared their report with others through Google Docs, but the act of collaborating on this document together in real time, or using the comment feature to peer at it and provide feedback instantly to each other, is a modification or redesign of those tasks. And finally, we reach redefinition. At the redefinition level, you've augmented and modified the task, and now the technology gives you the ability to create new, previously inconceivable tasks. In the days before we had access to the whole world at our fingertips, when a student polished their final piece of writing, it was seen by the student, the teacher, and the student's parents when the paper went home. Now technology can provide a global stage for sharing their work with the world. Students can create a portfolio using Google Docs or Google Sites or a combination of the two and publish their work to the web for a global audience with a feedback loop. Teaching students how to write for the world is a real-world skill, helping them to think outside of their local experiences to connect with and begin to understand other countries and cultures that are different from their own. As we move up the ladder from substitution to redefinition, we're moving from enhancing to transforming student learning. While it may seem like an overwhelming task and a lot of work to reach the top of the SAMER model ladder, once students are working at a redefining level with technology, they're driving all of the work themselves, taking the pressure off of teachers and allowing teachers to take on more of a facilitator role to support student-driven learning. This not only makes the teacher's life easier, but the shift to more transformational learning is more rich and meaningful for students, helping to keep them fully engaged and motivated to be lifelong learners in a 21st century world and beyond. Trust me, the hard work will pay off.